Hey, this is Ken Finner from Capital Advantage Tutoring, reporting live from Madison, New Jersey. I saw a couple of posts about this new proposed rule about FINRA increasing the frequency of continuing education. So as we know now for testable, every on your second anniversary, and then every three years after that, you have to do what they call regulatory element continuing education, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Anyone who fails it shouldn't be in the business because it's basically you're just going over stuff that's ethically right and stuff like that. And you can't fail it because basically you just run out of time and take it again, which is fine. Once every three, once every three years after your second anniversary, they just want to make sure that you're, you're in good shape and you kind of have a little idea of what you're doing. They're proposing to do it every year. And I've seen post people going, oh my God, I, I can't believe it. They're just looking for fees. Okay, read the fucking, read the fucking text, okay? So as I, re- as I said nine months ago, FINRA is trying to make it so that if you leave the business for up to seven years, they're trying to do it, you can still come back in if you complete regulatory element continuation. Ah, fucking light bulb. This is what they're doing. This, and it even says it in the rule, if anyone had read past the first fucking headline, on a path to keep their licenses after termination. Okay, so again, they're trying to re- they're trying to increase the continuing ed, so that people who leave the business, whether to grad school, have children, for, go on a hiatus, leave whatever it is, can leave for up to seven years. Currently, two, as long as they keep up their continuing education. Please, people, use your head. I like this idea. Once a year, if once a year you got to spend three hours doing continuing education, big fucking deal. Thank you. Have a great day.